Welcome back to Elm Creek, guys. Today, we're going to be building a brand new police station for the city. Across the way on the right side, we've got a brand new fire department, seven giant overhead doors. So we've got a bunch of police trucks there. And here's where we're going to be building the police station. Conveniently, right across the street. So what the plan is, is we're going to build a giant parking lot in the front. We got a big police station to put down. And then in the back part, look at all the land we got back here. We're going to put an impound lot. So what an impound lot is is if someone gets pulled over and they get taken to jail, we have to take their car and put it in the impound lot. So that's where that's going to go. And obviously, we'll put a bunch of cop cars back here. So that's the plan, guys. I think we're going to get straight to the build, and we're going to start sketching out what we're going to be building for this. We're going to work along the way. Make sure you guys stick around to see the finished product. Here we go. All right, as you can see, we got a little police truck here. We are in build mode, so we can officially find the police station. Here it is. We just placed it down. Oh, my gosh. Look at how big it is. Uh... So yeah, the police station isn't right on the street because we have this big parking lot, but we've got a big gate and we're going to draw in the road from right on this right side here because it's right across the street. So we'll sketch it all out. We're just going to put down a nice cement here. This is called asphalt and I think it looks really good for a parking lot. So we'll put down trees and a bunch of other stuff, but look at this. This is going to come together really good. I'm not sure if we can go in the police station. I don't think we can go in this building, but it looks cool from the exterior. As you can see, you got big windows. Probably offices in here, got vending machines outside, all the cool stuff. So we're just going to be decorating everything, making it like look actually like a police station. It just kind of looks like a bunch of parking spots right now. So we're going to put some trees in the middle and everything. And then we have to build the impound lot on our own. We're going to have to sketch that all by ourselves. There's no gate or any placeable for that, which is going to be in this back portion area. So we'll put a gate and everything, a security house. There we go. We got the parking lot cleaned up. Let's get this small part right there. Okay, perfect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these small little trees. I can put them around the parking lot like that. Put them in the little areas uh, where there's designated plant boxes. They kind of work. They're not on them perfectly, but it looks good in the parking lot to have a little bit of trees. Separates it kind of nice. Look at that. It's coming together so far. Uh, we should probably put down some lights because people are working shifts all night long. We're going to put down these giant like football field stadium lights. There we go. We're on the police station. This will light the place up at night for sure. Okay, that's good. Let's jump back into the paint mode, and we're going to grab the cement part again, and we're going to build the entire back lot for all the impound vehicles. So this is going to be a little smaller of a lot. It's not going to be as big, but we're going to put a gate around it and everything. Let's see. I think like right about there is good. Yep, sort of like that. Now let's go into our fences, and we have a gate. I'd say probably the tall gates is the best. That way they can't get the car back over. Perfect. Yeah, this is looking good already. All right. And then we're done with the gates. Perfect. And then we're going to add a little building behind it here. So let's see. That's a little bit too big. Something like this. If we can get a blue color. Uh, let's see. There's no blue. Oh, there is. It's a dark blue. Yeah, it's like a police station blue. So we're going to put down an enclosed shed. Sometimes we get supercars in this town. So we want to keep them like in good condition. We don't want to you know, keep them in the rain or anything. But we'll spend the extra money. Let's clean up the edges here. All right, there we go. We got the main frame of the police station down. Now let's uh, go over to the decorations. We're going to decorate this place up a little bit nicer. Let's actually start with the plants and then we'll move on to the little placeables. So I think we could put some orange plants. This looks really cool. We could do something like that in the front of it. And then there is a back side of the police station. Let's see if there's any plants that can go back here. Oh yeah, we could put some along the wall here. Perfect. All right, looks good. Let's jump into decorating. All right, a police station always needs a good bench. So we're going to put a bench outside, you know, when they get released from jail. Uh, usually the criminal sits on the bench waiting for their ride. But all right, we're going to put a couple of those around the property, maybe right by the parking lot too. That way people want to take a seat. I say right on the end there. And then we can put some on the other side of the parking lot right there and right there. Perfect. So we got all that good. Uh, we could put a nice bike rack too. That way people can put their bikes here if they got to come pay a parking ticket or whatever. Not sure, but uh, yeah, we'll put some bike racks along the fence over here. We want to keep them out of the way of the parking lot. So if we could put maybe three bike racks, looks good. We are going to need a dumpster, okay? There's always trash at an office building. So we're going to put this around back. We're going to put two of them. And then this gate can actually open here. So if the truck needs to get through to empty it, it can do so. Uh, we don't need a playground or anything like that. We do need a generator though. If the power goes out, let's get uh, two generators. That's good. And then there's these little flower pots that are kind of a nice little touch to the building. Let's put two of these down. Then these plants are kind of cool. We can put them in between our orange plants here. There we go. Lines it up a little bit better. Looks good. And then we need parking spots over here. We you need enough parking spots to fit the entire police force and then also anyone working in the office. So we're going to put down 
Another 12 parking spots right in the front there. That's good. And now I want to do another retaining wall with this rock texture. We did it in one of our last builds in Elm Creek, and it looks really cool. Just have rocks going along the edging here. Look at that. We got a little rock wall going on. This looks good. We can put some in the spots we missed on the backside. Perfect. Okay, now we need a security booth for our impound lot and a gate. So we have to have someone here 24-7. We're going to put a security booth right there. Let's go back to our gates. And there we go. Now we have a gate placed down. We can actually bring this to right there. Now they can't get through. They got a big gate. And also, we need some traffic cones to separate the parking lot. So this side of the parking lot is called the back lot. And the back lot is used for police vehicles only. So we're going to get a little barrier here that goes in these spots until right there. And then we're going to put two cones down like so. So that separates the lot. This is for police force vehicles only. And then this is the public lot. For anyone that wants to park and then also up front if they want to park up there too that's no problem and then we should probably add a little like barrier thing these poles are in place if someone were to run into the building uh those will prevent the security booth from being knocked out we can actually maybe put some more of those fences over here so they don't go in the back lot like right there perfect kind of separates it we don't want anyone in the back here this is for police personnel only and there's actually an underground garage uh, that is underneath the police station and there's a secret exit. So if you guys want to see that, smash the thumbs up button. We'll come back with a secret exit. Now let's add some of these really nice bushes. The whole purpose of this police station is to make it look nice because I want to like stay here for a long time, maybe create a good series. So we're going to do our best we can to create a nice police station. We're going to add these little bushes alongside the fences. Look at this. It makes it look a lot better. We can actually block off the start of the parking spot. So it just has the lines there. I don't know. It makes it look good. All right, that is it for the build on the police station. Check it out. It's looking good. We got the impound lot. We got the police station, the parking lot, and everything. So we're good with the Elm Creek police station, but now we got to bring over some vehicles. So let's head over to the shop and customize some vehicles. All right, guys, check out our new Chevy Tahoe. This thing is the new police edition vehicle, at least the newest vehicle we have at the police force. So we're going to add a light bar. Red and blue flashers uh, will have the interior lights. It is a sheriff car, and I like the black and white. That looks good. So we're going to buy two of these, and we already have three of the police trucks. Check it out. We got the Tremor Package F350. This thing is a beast. It actually got the gasser in it, which is it's an okay one, but it's for the performance for the police cars. We're going to bring all these back to the police station, park them out in the back lot, and then we're going to customize some Hellcat cop cars. So... Yeah, this, this truck is the same vehicle as the one we drove over. They're all the exact same, except we're going to park them in the lot this time. Oh my gosh, just drove over the rock wall. Well, actually, it's pretty cool. These trucks are meant for off-roading. Look at that. We just drove over it. So when we do come in the police station, though, we're going to take an immediate left, and then you're going to take two more spots, immediate right, and then the cones are there. So we can just get drive them around them for now. We'll remove them. Oh, I just hit one. But we're going to back the trucks in against the gate and make them lined up all nice. We'll categorize them by whatever vehicle type they are. Truck, car, SUV, whatever. So we're going to put the trucks here and I'm bringing the Tahoes over. And then I'll see you guys when we're customizing some Hellcats. All right, we're going to head over and grab one of the new Tahoes. For those that haven't seen them, they're really cool vehicles and they've got cool lights on them. So uh, let's head over and uh, we're going to go pick one of those up and drive it on back. So my favorite thing about this car is probably the lights. Just check it out. They've got so many flashers on it. Even got the side red and blue flashers. And this thing is the ultimate sheriff vehicle. Plenty of storage too. I, I love the lights though. That's the best part. And we're going to fire up the sirens. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but they're super loud. Got the V8 engine in this. So it's able to catch any criminal. Maybe not a supercar, but any civilian vehicle will be able to catch. And this thing is just an awesome vehicle to drive around the city it's very comfortable too it's got a police scanner all that stuff let's drive this around back and we're gonna park this one up right outside the back door and we'll line these all up so let's go customize some hellcats and bring them on back all right we got the dodge charger srt police this thing starts base price eighty nine thousand dollars which is crazy and we're gonna spend another zero dollars to get the 6.4 liter hellcat so why not and then we're gonna put i think we're just gonna leave charger rims on it looks like the best we're going to do a pursuit car because this is a fast vehicle. We need a car to catch the supercars, and this is the car to do the job. So we're going to put the State Trooper Pursuit Police paint package, officer assignment. We're going to do full lights, sirens, everything. Decals is going to be police on the side. I think that looks the cleanest. It says Elm Creek right there, so that looks good. Push bar with lights, yes. And then we're going to do a darker paint. It looks a lot shinier, so that looks good. 
We're going to add some reflectors on the back, too. I think just the black and white looks good. All right, let's buy two of these. We only need two high-performance pursuit vehicles. These are $89,000 apiece. The options don't cost anymore, which is good. And then here's the lights on these things. They look really good. This is the best car, obviously the most expensive. Oh, no. It's quick, too. I just drove it into the trees. All right, let's scream on back of this thing. Oh, my gosh, we're flying. It's got a loud siren, horn, and everything like that. It's got the whole nine yards in this thing. Oh, all right, let's park this one up. Actually, let's take it for a drive on the highway. Let's see what our top speeds are. We're doing 100 right now. Should probably turn the lights on and leave them on just because we are going over the speed limit here. All right, we're jumping on the highway. This has got great handling, too, so if we got to catch a track car, you know, we'll stay on them. Turn the sirens on. Perfect. All right, we are flying. We're doing 120. Let's see. Yeah, we're 120 maxed out right now. Come on, we're still climbing. We're doing 130. Stay on the road. All right, look at the speed. Oh, oh, almost at 140. Come on, keep climbing. Look at 140. This thing is flying. All right, enough fun. Let's pull a little U-turn there and head up back to the police station. We're going to get every car back, guys, and I'm going to pick up the camera again once we get everything lined up. I'll see you guys in a few. All right, guys, here's the finished look at the back lot. We got the Chargers there, the three trucks lined up, and then we've got the two Tahoes. So we could probably get some more armored vehicles, put them over here, some police motorcycles, make it look a lot better. We'll put some more cars in there soon. But we got police department to protect and serve on the side of the building. We got some friends running around. Check it out, some deer. Here's the front side of the building. Looks really good. Henry County Police Department in Elm Creek. We got a vending machine outside. Here's the front door, mailbox. Uh, and then here is the security booth for the gate so we have a little laptop in there they got to go through a screening room and then they're able to get in there here's the gate opens outward and that is because then they can't drive through it it's got so much force that you know it can only open this way and then over here we got the big building for impound vehicles check it out turn the overhead lights on that's a lot brighter yeah so we got three big roller doors there should be plenty of space for any impound vehicles Let's close up the gate again no one is driving through that so that's perfect and then you can actually walk through the back side of the building if you want to go to the back lot and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you for watching this police episode. If you want to see us come back and work at this police station, make sure to subscribe down below and also smash the thumbs up button. It shows us you enjoy it and want us to make more. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.